Welcome back. Uh, now we will discuss something about even aged and uneven aged forest models. Uh, now, what do you what do we mean by even aged and uneven aged? We already discussed this thing in the previous lectures. Even aged are regular forest where uh, the crop is of uniform age and size, and uneven aged forest is where uh, the forest is uh, having mixed kind of ages. Now let's have a close look at uneven aged. A stand with trees of three or more distinct age classes, either intimately mixed or in small groups. So this is the example uh, of an uh, uneven aged forest model where you can see there are three tiers of trees. Now let's have a look at two aged. It's a stand with trees of two distinct age classes separated in age by more than plus or minus 20% of the rotation age. There should be a difference uh, of about 20% of the rotation age. Like, like you can see, this is the two aged model here. One, uh, you know, tier of trees and this is the second tier of trees. And obviously the rotation has to be 20 uh, the difference has to be in difference in rotation rotation has to be 20 percent now a third uh, model is even aged a stand composed of a single age class of trees in which the range of trees tree ages uh, is usually plus or minus 20 percent of the rotation age it, it's a single uh you know tier of trees wherein um the uh, a difference in age of the rotation has not to be more than 20% and it looks uniform in size and uniform in uh, age. So uh, to understand uh, the distribution of stems and the diameter we uh, can have a look at this graph you can see uh, in, in even aged A is the even aged even aged forest stand a is the even age forest stand you can see it it follows a bell shaped curve with the increase in diameter initially the number of trees uh, in the initial diameter uh, initially uh, if we increase the diameter uh, because we have uh, um, in even aged we have a margin of 20 percent variability in the uh, you know uh, diameter initially the diameter uh, the density is low and the density picks up uh, when uh, the diameter increases and after a certain point when diameter increases uh, the diameter uh, the number of stems starts decreasing again and in case of uneven aged uneven aged forest stand you can see this b1 uh, in the smaller diameters are um, higher in number the density is very high and when the diameter increases there is a constant decline in the density or in the number of stems this is how the even aged and uneven even aged forest models work in terms of diameter and uh, density relations now uh, see this is again illustrated in this figure in for a uh, even age stand the relation between diameter and number of trees per hectare you can see it forms a bell shaped curve and in case of balanced uneven age stand it forms a curve like this we have already discussed this thing and in irregular uneven age stands irregular uneven age stands it follows a, a, a curve which is something uh, like which has uh, multiple uh, you know humps uh, in irregular uneven age forest stand now what are the common characteristics of uneven age stands the canopy uneven age stands you can see this is the uneven this is the uneven age stand and what are the uh, uh, characteristics you can see Crown canopy is generally comprised of multiple layers. Obviously, we, we saw that and commonly close, uh, commonly extends close to the ground and it extends close to the ground because there are multiple tears. There might be small trees which are very close to the, the uh, canopy is close to the ground. Diameter range for seedling sapling to short so, timber sizes, you know, regardless of the species. Quite understood. Trees of all diameters have a live crown ratio, often as high as 40% or 60% in Managed person. Now, why it is so? You can have a look at this. 
because uh, we have a multiple tiers where uh, the bigger tree is growing there is there are adjacent there are smaller trees which have a crown which is lower in height to the bigger tree so bigger tree gets an ample amount of space to grow and likewise the smaller trees uh, have, have in the adjacent have the bigger trees which are which have a higher crown height so these small trees also get a chance to grow their uh, crown uh, bigger so that's why they have a large crown ratio tree heights vary with diameter obviously uh, with short ones having small diameters and tall trees having large diameters so with the increase in the height there is an increase in the diameter as well now reasons for uneven aged uh, management why do we want to uh, you know have uneven age stands because small land owners require it to generate cash more frequently having multiple species having uh, multiple rotations the there is a continuous flow of cash you know um, there are other uh, forest products which may require this uh, uneven aged forest uh, forestry for example recreation aesthetic value or maybe sometimes wildlife also and tree species diversity can enhance wildlife yes it is written here and wildlife both for food and the shelter having multiple tiers of trees or uh, in an uneven age stand it's always beneficial for the wildlife where different species have different preferences um, uh, in terms of species and in terms of the you know uh, in terms of the height of the trees so that's going to uh, cater to their needs as